the Voigtlander 20mm f3.5 SL2 spherical is the smallest ultra-wide angle full-frame lens for Nikon F-mount. But how good is it? My name is Thomas Eisel. I'm a professional photographer from Vienna, Austria. I rarely use lenses wider than 28 mm, but for indoor scenarios and reportage photography, 28 mm is sometimes just not wide enough. And I ended up buying the Voigtländer 20 mm SL2 as it is the most compact 20 mm lens on the market right now. Fitted with a CPU chip, aperture indexing, and an aperture ring, the Voigtländer 20mm color scoper is compatible with basically every Nikon F-mount camera ever made. With a size of 63 by 29 millimeters combined with a weight of only 201 grams, this lens is portability incarnate. On a Nikon D800, this lens almost looks like a body cap lens. Paired with older film bodies, the proportions are a little bit more fitting. Due to its small size, it also pairs nicely with an adapter on full-frame mirrorless cameras. Quality-wise, the all-metal construction is very impressive. The focus throw of the lens is around 180 degrees. With the focusing ring being well dampened, Precise and smooth operation is guaranteed. Inside the ultra compact lens barrel of the 20mm color scoper are nine elements in six groups and nine aperture blades. That's very impressive. But how good are the images that this lens produces? To be honest, it's a mixed bag. And here is why. From f3.5 to f4, the color scoper is quite soft. And when zooming in, a slight glowy look is visible. Let's take a look at these two sample shots. If we zoom in, you can see the glow and that it is actually not very sharp. Stopping the color scoper down to f5.6 improves sharpness quite a bit. Still, I'd say it is quite soft, especially when compared to modern high-end lens designs, which are of course bigger than the color scoper. In any case, at f8, the color scoper reaches peak sharpness and produces what I'd consider a modern acceptable rendering. Even smaller apertures only lead to a loss of sharpness, but I'd say at f11 it is still pretty much okay. When reviewing a lens, I usually don't mention the vignette a lens produces, but really, the Voigtländer 20mm has very strong vignetting. If we take a look at this little slideshow, you can see what I'm talking about. It is quite visible, but at around f8 it becomes acceptable. Keep this vignetting issue in mind, as the vignette is so strong that if you want to remove it completely in post-production, it might pose a problem. To my surprise, the bokeh of the 20mm f3.5 is very pleasant, although it is minimal given the wide angle of view and the slow aperture. It is there and I really like it. It is noteworthy that the lens exhibits barrel distortion with a slight curvature, a moustache barrel distortion. So it's hard to correct in post-production, but for my taste, it is not that bad. So you can just leave it there for reportage and general purpose photography. So how does the lens handle in practice? With a maximum aperture of 
f3.5 the lens can be a bit tricky to focus in low light scenarios. While it might be tempting to use the 20 millimeter on DX bodies, so meaning crop sensor bodies, I advise against it. It is optically just not there and you probably won't like the results. Even if you stop it down to F8, I'd rather not use it. What I really like about the lens is that it is able to focus as close as 0.2 meters. That offers unique creative possibilities as you can get very interesting perspectives with a wide angle lens that is able to focus so close. Let me get back to the optical properties. I've only mentioned them as downsides as the lens is soft and glowy and not really comparable to modern wide angle lenses. But this can also be a good thing. You can use it on purpose to create a vintage look. Especially when shooting film, this might be very desirable. In my opinion, lenses can only be reviewed meaningfully when being compared to other lenses. The Voigtlander 20mm color scoper is not my only 20mm lens for Nikon F mount. I also own the AF Nikkor 20mm f 2.8D and comparing these two lenses at the same aperture makes one thing very clear. The Nikkor is superior optically. Take a look at this sample shot. Be that as it may, the Voigtlander is also only half the size of the Nikkor. So does the 20mm color scoper fulfill its intended role as an ultra wide angle small backup lens? When f8 is the aperture I want to shoot with, then definitely yes. Thank you very much for watching. Please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and following me on other social media. See you next time.